Hi, we're waiting for the uh, hashtag PH vote, the forum, hashtag the leader I want. And we're sitting here with Mr. Tehanki, the Dean of, of De La Salle University. Chances, can you tell us about uh, uh, the chances of Duterte now? Well, uh, Duterte is one of uh, the candidates that we can call an insurgent candidate. Uh, he's captured the imagination of uh, a lot of uh, a large segment of the the voters, particularly the urban millennials, and uh, he has his own regional bailiwick, uh, Mindanao. Uh, but the challenge for him really is to grow his support base beyond his core supporters, uh, beyond the urban millennials, beyond the middle class, who is enamored with his tough guy, anti-crime image. And uh, but the the challenge really is for every core supporter that he has, he should reach out to two or three more voters of other uh, demogra demographic uh, characteristics. But again, uh, we have to understand that his core supporters are attracted to him because of his style, his top image, the way he carries himself. He challenges other candidates and he curses. Now, there, there lies his problem. Every time he curses, he turns off two or three more candidates. So if he attract, if he tries to tone down his style, then he might lose his core supporter. So uh, there should be some recalibration uh, in terms of his uh, image and his campaign style. Tom Alex says 39% are youth voters, 39% are young. Where are the millennials going and what is who appeals to them and why? Of course, uh, Duterte is uh, one of the top picks of the, urban, the, the young voters, particularly the millennials. But uh, of course, uh, if we will look at the trend, the voting trends in the previous elections, the youth vote is one of the largest source of votes, but unfortunately, they're the least dependable. They don't go out and vote. Mm -hmm. So you have here a large chunk of voters who are so contented in just voicing uh, their opinions and voting through social media, but not actually going out and registering and voting. Do you think there's any difference in these elections from 2013 to 2016? Uh, I don't think that, uh, that the change. urban millennials will go out and vote, unless uh, the candidates will really go out of their way to organize the youth vote. Let's talk about the other candidates. How would you assess their chances now? Uh, well, uh, heading towards the start of the official campaign, it's all back to zero. So uh, it's a reboot for everyone. So it's 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 uh, anybody's ball game given the recent trend because uh, because they canceled each other out. There's no clear uh, front. Uh, uh, runner. front runner and uh, uh, really the challenge here really is to expand beyond their core uh, support. We have, we're running this forum together so wrap and, uh, and and we're holding this forum at the La Salle University so we're ha running this forum together today. Yes, yes. What impact do you think this could have on the sole candidate? I guess first is there a negative impact for the ones who don't show up? Is there a positive impact? Where, what do you see a potential ripple of this? Well unfortunately this could have been a very good uh, opportunity for the candidates to reach out to the the youth vote, particularly the, the millennial voters and second uh, given the the resources that were poured by Rappler and De La Salle University and Facebook and all our partners, uh, it could have been a, a source of free airtime advertisement. And of course, uh, this is very, very important social media exposure for the candidates. So it's their loss. And well, that's, that's how it is. That's uh, all is fair in love and politics, Maria. So I think that's uh, it's, uh, that's the way uh, politics is played in this country. So uh, it will be advantageous to the candidates who have taken time out to come here and talk to the young voters. Thanks so much. We've been speaking with Dean July Tahanki of, at De La Salle. We're waiting for uh, Mayor Duterte and uh, Senator Cayetano. See you soon on stage. Bye-bye.